Hey guys, Mark here at I own a classic. Behind this you can see at Gaiden we have the cars which are not on display but are available for viewing and downstairs the workshops. We're going to come to the left now to give you a quick look around to see what's going on at the show.
Taking the breeder's off and what else were you thinking? Yeah. He says, if it got too much oil in it, would that do it? I said, well, how much to it? says, it's just over. Junction, uh, and we had a chair at the front. We took the seat and took it out. The chair was The judges there doing this thing. Yeah. 
Any tips on the wind judge? Particularly at the moment, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like everything except the white wheels. Yeah, but I know you don't like the white wheels. I like the car. Yeah, it's a lovely car. 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 It's a where did you get? Unless you've just had a read, you should get the great place to select yourself. That's not good. Parts. Parts are really... I thought they'd be really easy, but it's a bit too easy. You're struggling. Rimmers. Rimmers. Yeah. Tried them, but they're not really... Okay. I'm just trying to think. Ha, <laughs> 
We've got a Jaguar showroom in the bottom, upstairs, we got cars which are ultra ray prototypes, etc. Such as hasn't been shown before. We have a general skirt around the Jaguar showroom. Now. We're going to the main museum over there. How are we doing, guys? Of course, this is the Jaguar Formula One car.
It's worth putting in. Just for the job of the school again. Because you need to pay. Go into the Gaiden Museum. And take a look. And there's some more This was the bad guy's Jaguar from one of the um, Piers Brosnan movies. Okay guys, it's going to be a play around the Jaguar display. The next day over there, last time I was up there, on Tom Walton Show Racing, I was in the main hall. And then the big B12, huge tall of our drivers, isn't it? Of course, we've got the new Jaguar. Yes. This is the 2012 plug in Ferguson. So you see the first, all electric Jaguar, and here you are next to it, the Mark 1 FJ220, this is the original prototype FJ220, this is the concept car, and this I've seen it many times, so if I pause there, if you want to pause the video, you need the details, Well, this is the only FJ220 which will actually exceed 220 miles an hour in standard form. It's bigger than the road car, it's wider, it's longer. This is the one which is based on the MG EXE, which we'll have a look at later. Of course, this is a V12 to charge, not the 6R4 engine, which went for Richard. Of course, this is the Jaguar Formula 1 car. And some of the bomb cars as well. There's going to be a world in this tour of the Jaguar display. There's an all hour prototype preparation. Completely aluminium body and chassis. Everything you've seen is aluminium. Aluminium, aluminium. On the last demos that ever produced. Oh, Dima Dad. It's worth coming in just for the job of the school again. Very busy in the Go into the Gaiden Museum and take a look at the Russian Opera. Bad one. 
this was the bad guy Jaguar from one of the um, Pierce Brosnan movies. Right then guys, so as you didn't know, the Honda Civic was produced in Swindon locally up until uh, 2021 and the car has been signed all over by all the people on the production line that assembles this final car to come off production. This is the original Earl's Court prototype. We'll cut away to show how the mini was put together. Super A, MG, 16 with twin fan, in section, the show was put together. I think it's myself, I think it's a waste of account. Another port type here, this is the gas turbine. Um, order. Morgan. We have the last Rover Sunday Club. And the Tomb Raider Land Rover back here. We go on the James Bond land over the other side. Here we have one of the Camel Trophy G4 Challenge Discoveries. And one seriously polished Series 3 or the 2A Series 3 Land Rover. If your Land Rover gets this condition, folks, sub polishing. You've really gone too far. You, you, you want to be leaving a bit of paint on it, really. This is just um, nuts. So pull your teeth up, when you get this point, stop polishing. Okay folks, you've seen the new Land Rover Defender. This would have been the replacement for the Defender. This was the last designed by Land Rover UK to replace the Defender before it was sold off to India. So this is what the new Defender could have looked like before it was sold off. Again, we have another Camel Trophy Land Rover there. Closely, Gaten was part of the Rover Group. And this is also where we are at the Aston Martin factory, uh, Jaguar factory, Land Rover. And it was originally the MG Rover testing ground, so it was a lot of unique. And the original cars here. which was test mirrors, prototypes, swimming Land Rovers, Land Rover special vehicles, with a prototype, yeah, a prop shaft, a swim capability. And we use a interesting one. This was a prototype for the Metro. The, the Austin Rover Metro, which is based on the Mini. This was to be the next generation on from the Austin Mini. Um, super low drag coefficient. It was something like a, a 0.21 drag coefficient back in 1984. 
but once again, stopped by our beloved German as you can look inside. So we are the MG Metro steel wheels if you can see it. And Mark 1 Discovery column sort. Um, no bad in, nothing at all in the car, to tell you other way. Okay, here we have a prototype Lotus Ambassador crossover. And for you guys watching over in America, we've got the new Cadillac. Uh, ultra light weight, two inch steel skin. And it's designed for the fuel conscious American today. Okay, so as we look at this um, prototype 6R4, this is the one which was designed and developed by Williams Grand Prix Engineering. It's taking the original Metro, or that's the pizza delivery one, RTC Express. So they took the rear engine from that, the 1.8K series, and managed to work into the V6 Cosworth. I don't know who is it, so they managed to work in the V6 Cosworth, so you see the start of sort. The MGF Pet Peter Lurie one become the 6R4. They spurred two projects in, so the 6R4 then become the MGF. This is the first MGF of the production line. This is a VVC, 1.8 VVC, 143 horsepower variant. It's quite nice to see the development from the MGF into the loose release which is essentially an alloy body MGF, that's all it is. It's an MGF, lightened, made of alloy, same engine, same gearbox, same wiring, same underpinnings, same computer, everything is the same. Just the body. Okay, we got you then. This is the prototype for the Rover 800 Coupe. We come back here. So this is what the car could have been. Beautiful coupe body. Goes over to anyone by the British government. That's what they give us. Thank you, British government, for killing the company. You assholes. Okay, so we're back into our prototype. Mark 5 Metro here. And this is the last ever Mini of the production line. If your car is younger than this, I'd like to know about it, because this is the last one. So therefore this is the youngest one. We are a turbo. Ah. Here's another interesting Mini for you. This is the world's only all aluminium mini metro. The complete body is aluminium. I can see some of the ripples in the panel here. Can I see you see from the aluminium stress on the skin? But this is the only all aluminium metro mini metro on the planet. Of course, and what we can't forget here while we're here today, this is the last ever Metro of the production line. Exactly the same as my car. Except this is the last one.